Welcome to Ego Netcast. I am Martin Lindeskog. Yesterday, I watched the documentary Bombshell, the Heidi or Heidi La- Lamar story. It was a fascinating story about an actress who was also an inventor. If you are using Wi-Fi network in order to listen to this episode on your mobile or reading the show notes on your on the blog you should send a mental thank you note through the airways to Hedvig Eva Maria Kiesler after watching uh, this documentary i wonder how the us navy could miss this opportunity to use her invention of a secure radio guidance system built on a so-called hopping uh, with the frequencies that she learned from the radio, like an antenna or a radio controller, remote controller that she learned from. I will include in the show notes uh, links to the documentary on uh, Wikipedia and also the Zeitgeist films and also a link to a YouTube video on PBS News Hour, the brilliant mind of a Hollywood legend, Hedy Lamar, and also a link to Times of Israel, how, how an actress, the actress Hedy Lamar's World War II military invention was torpedoed by the US Navy. So they really bombed this opportunity, you could say. And after watching this documentary, I I got thinking about this dangerous situation we have regarding the freedom of speech on the net and how forces, different forces are trying to control it, regulate it, and even trying to doing a shutdown on the whole system. So I will also include here in the show notes links to the Index on Censorship organization, uh, the NetBlock system there, a tool that uh, tracks how the internet is being shut down in different areas of the world. And also a site called uh, accessnow.org and the hashtag keep it on, that the internet should be on. And a study by Freedom House regarding freedom on the net 2018, the rise of digital censorship. And uh, I asked uh, in, in... previous episodes here to giving tips on alternative sources to the mainstream media or up and coming media outlets and when I did a search I found for example these uh, on censorship sites but also a site called Truth in Media and I wonder if you recognize this site or have read it or watched it. It's a former Fox News anchor, I think. It's on this site. And like an ending note here and the food for thought. I want to end with uh, Rand Fishkin's post. The tyranny of optimism optimizing for amplification. It's the whole question about if you share things on the different social media platforms or not. And uh, are you retweeting it or not? And uh, the concept of liking and and internet links, like an elite of uh, uh, linking to each other and how it's raising up to the both top and the bottom. And uh, I I think about uh, this 
cartoon by John Cox and Alan Forkum from their book Black and White World. Number two, The Blogger's Dilemma that you could have as a blogger. And that's the thing, to post or not to post is the question. And as a side note there, I've seen bloggers that have used this cartoon but haven't given credit to the source, the original source and the creation by John Cox and Alan Forkum. And I have sometimes commented on that when I have found it and I've used the cartoon and linked to coxandforkum.com. So that's something to think about. And when I were planning for this, writing the notes on Ulysses' app, I got an email from Britannica. Uh, I brought up with uh, this Encyclopedia Britannica, the book in letter that you flip through and learn, and it, it has lots of expert writing on different concepts and words and history notes, compared that to the Wikipedia that then be become very popular and how they are getting the stuff there out there. So I think you could have both, and I'm for both, both Wikipedia, but they have had some heat going on on how they are doing it with their help there and I, I met one at the book fair in Gothenburg and talked to him and had an interesting conversation so I probably will join some of their meetings in the future learning more about Wikipedia and uh, but also at the same time to to appreciate and approve of this old system you could say Britannica and I think they will continue and they had a, an email there with the hashtag, what the, and not the F word, but the word fact, what the fact, hashtag, on some merchandise, like for example a ho hoodie, and facts matter. So think about that. Facts matter and what the fact. And as they say in the movie Dragnet, give me the facts, ma'am. So with that, I say cheerio and talk to you soon again.